Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with your casual keyboard guy. Um, today's lesson is going to be on a, a real dope song by Kirk Franklin. Kirk Franklin, um, entitled Love Fairy. Um, and it's a pretty dope song. Um, it's a gospel song, but it really don't sound like a gospel song. It sounds like some type of hippie, funk, pop type song. But um, anyway, this is um, requested by my subscriber, Shani. So uh, here you go, Shani. Um, this is for you. So let's uh let's start this John and um I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh play through it a little bit and I'm gonna break it down break it down so um like I always say like share subscribe show your boy some love and um here we go let's get it. That's enough of that. So let's jump into this. Not too uh, much. It's like this song. Is, this is a fun, feel-good song to play, man. Like I said, even if you're not a Christian, um, you know, a gospel, um, you know, music enjoyer, lack of better words, you know, you could really have some fun with this song. It's be like a nice little groove for you. But um, I love the Lord, you know, and I'm a Christian, so I definitely enjoy this type of music. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's play. So this song starts. Uh, well, first is in D flat major. Okay, so we'll be starting on the four. All right, so let's start on the four. And so what you got is this really nice chord pattern. I mean, it's simple, but it's nice. And of course, I made it easier to play because the way that they kind of play it, it's like a finger twister. So I just uh, made it easier to play. So. The first chord is going to be a D flat um, triad. You want to do A flat, D flat, and F. And now the bass is going to be a G flat, okay? So, um, be a G flat major seven. It's a sus four. You can't see it. Sus two. There you go. Sus two. All right. So, that's the first chord D flat, A flat, D flat, and F. That's the bass. So it's really only two bass. You really got the uh, B, the G flat, and then you go into the B flat for like the main, for the intro, and for like the uh, the verse. Okay. So let's uh, so let's do the first chord, and then what you're doing is you're bouncing from this chord to this chord. So you got a um, A flat, D flat, F, and then you got an A flat, C, and E flat. So. The way the chords is, he's kind of bouncing back and forth, but uh, at one point he kind of goes to one chord twice. So, so, all right. 
So and it's like, you know, I don't know, like I said, like sometimes when I teach songs like this, they have rhythm with the chords. I kind of say just fill it out. So basically the two chords you're playing is this and the, and this chord. So just you know, so I'll give you how I play it, and um, you know, you could go from there. So something like that. Alright, and then the next chord is, I'm going to show you the, the little simple bass. Um, it's going to be, now I made this, I altered this chord slightly, but it still sounds good. Alright, so you're going to have a B flat 7, um, dominant 7, sus 4. So, and then you're going between this chord and then this chord, a B minor, a B flat minor seven. So, and kind of like that same rhythm. And then you're going to resolve this to, to the D and walk it up. F, D, E flat, F. So, So again, and then you just take the E flat to the D flat, and just go back and forth. And then walk it up to the F, D, E flat, F. So. Try to do that a little slower. You know, but the bass does to get to the B flat. You don't got it do it like every once in a while. You don't have to do this, but I'll do it because I hear it in there. It go boom, boom, boom. So go from G flat to A flat to B flat. Okay. So the next part so um yeah because that's pretty much the intro um and then we get to the the let me see Okay, so they kind of bounce or they kind of hit this chord but right here to get to the verse. So they end with this chord. So instead of going, it just boom, like they, they hit that to bounce or to uh, get to the to the verse. So so um, how could it be? Back to the groove. That you This the, this is the change. Everything working for my good for So that's gonna be everything working for. I'll give it to you like this. I like this chord. So you got C minor seven flat five. You got C in the bass, B flat, E flat, and G flat. Okay. This is gonna be your right hand, B flat, E flat, G flat. Left hand is gonna be C. Then you're gonna go to F sharp or F dominant seven sharp five sharp nine. Uh, so you got A, B flat, E flat, and A flat over F bass. A flat, A, B flat, E flat, and A flat. All right. And then we're going to end on this, C minor, uh, this B flat minor uh, seven. Hmm, maybe minor nine. I 
like that nine though. So you can you can put the nine if you want. But uh, I'm just gonna do the minor seven. So you got B flat, A flat, D flat, and F. Okay. Everything Let's do the minor nine because I'm I know I'm gonna keep playing it. So <laughs> A flat, C, D flat, F. Okay. Let's do the minor nine. B flat minor nine. So where we at? Uh, so. Kind of bounce on that minor nine. He saved the day. He'll come through. Same, same thing. He won't come Superheroes do. Okay. Whatever. All I want to do is make you proud of me. Alright. So, um, so when they do that, proud of me. You hit, you hit that discord again. It's mostly the same thing over and over, guys. But this part is gonna be I don't wanna love nobody but you. I don't wanna love nobody but you. I don't wanna love nobody, love nobody but you. Alright. So um they do this part um to get back to the second verse, and then they use the same progression to go to the bridge. So it's the same progression. The only time is when they, the first time they do it after the first verse, they only go, uh, let me see, uh, I don't want to love nobody but you. I don't want to. And then he goes into the second verse. But the next, but but then they'll do they'll do it like uh they'll do it a couple times to uh to go through uh, I'm sorry, to get to the bridge. So um, and I'll, I'll show you, but um, basically, it's like I said, it's the same progression. They just do it again for the most part, and they change the rhythm slightly. So anyway, so now we at the, uh, let me see, uh, I don't want to love. So you got this uh, G flat major seven. So you got G flat, B flat, D flat, F, with G flat on the bass. I don't want to, that's the melody, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, if you want that. I don't want to love. You hit the chord, okay? So I don't wanna first chord. And then we got that same C chord, the C minor seven flat five, the same F chord, same B flat minor chord. Remember I said a lot of these chords repeat. So I don't wanna, this is the only new chord right here, what you got. Okay. I don't wanna love nobody but you. I don't wanna love nobody. Now new chord. A flat minor nine. So you got G flat, B flat, the B or C flat. And then E flat, okay. What A flat in the bass? Boom, 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 boom. All right, got that. And then we're gonna take our thumbs and drop them down from the G flat to the F, and take our bass from the A flat to the D flat. So real simple. So these three notes stay the same, okay? All right. So where am I? I love nobody. Yeah, I don't wanna love nobody. Here we go. And then back to love nobody. All right, back to that chord again. Love nobody, love nobody but you. You hear I did that rhythm. Love nobody but you. You kind of follow the words, okay? And then they just go boom, 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 and they go right back into the into the second verse. Now. Fast forward, like I said, the same thing, same same thing over and over again. So now we go. Let's fast forward to the second chorus, or second yeah chorus. I don't wanna love nobody but you. I don't wanna love nobody, love nobody but you. Now we got some difference right here. So now we're gonna go. All right, so they, they added a couple extra chords. So when you hit that B flat. Now we're gonna do. B, we're gonna do this B flat minor nine and the same type of chord that you I'm gonna see if you remember. Remember I dropped my thumb and then I moved my bass up and forth? The same type of pattern they do that, but they do it off of B flat now. So a B flat minor nine to an E nine thirteen. This is how we did from the A flat minor nine 
to the D flat 13, the same type of movement where you go from the, the one to the four, and this, well, not really a one to a four, but it's in this concept, I'm moving up like four and fourths right here. And I'm bringing my thumb down, keeping these three notes the same. It's the same concept. See, boom, boom, or. So, you know, start, you know, getting your ears tighter because um, lot, like that's a that's a very very traditional pattern in a lot of music. So when we got like, dun, 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 dun. You know, they do that a lot. It's like a two five one. So so that would be the A flat would be the one in this in this instant. If I'm using the B flat to the E flat nine to the to the one. So if I'm doing it off of this one, which we we do in the song, go to that G flat for the one. So it's just two, five, one, two, five, one. You know, no quick lesson. But anyway, let's get back to the song. So, um, I don't know nobody but you. I don't want to love nobody but you. Got that? I don't want to love nobody. Love no, watch this. So again, B flat minor nine. Drop the thumb. Bring the bass to E flat. And then we're gonna do the same movement which we learned. The A flat minor nine. Drop the thumb. Bring it, bring it up. D flat. Alright, keep these the same. Okay? And then we're gonna land here. Um, so let me see where we at. Okay, so we got the chords now. Let me go through it. I don't wanna love nobody but you. Hey, love no hey. to the bridge all right same chord <laughs> loving you will be all right same chord <laughs> same g flat major seven chord same f seven chord we, they, 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 i think they do this chord but um well i'll give you this chord just to change it up a little bit okay change it up a little bit f, f, f7 sharp five so you got a, a d flat e flat and f and f in the bass so you could put the a flat in there too do that chord if you want because it's a chord we already know but just to make it a little bit more spicy put that in there that f okay make it an f7 sharp five with the f or you could put the a flat in your choice or you can whoo that's nasty don't do that chord all right so either that chord or this chord. So back to the, our famous B B flat minor nine. Now this time they're gonna do this. They're gonna go to this D flat nine. So that's gonna be F, uh, B, and E flat. C flat is also the note B. Okay, B as in boy. So F, C flat, or B and E flat. Okay. The reason why it's a, it's a C flat is because when the key of D flat and there's uh, no C and uh, you know in the key of D flat, so it's a C flat. Uh, I'm sorry, there, yeah. So 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 in order to to play a there's no B. I'm sorry, I said C. There's no B in the key of D flat, so it has to be a C flat. It's just some weird thing that music does with uh theory and you know it's not really relevant unless you're really trying to get deep deep into it but um i'm gonna leave that alone all right so anyway um where we at let me see all right and then he's on this chord so f c flat and e with a d flat and the bass all right so let's do that again So the third time, they go, they go, they do that E flat nine thirteen, which we already know. Remember, remember that they do that on the third time, where we just remember dropping our thumb down and bringing our B flat to E flat up a fourth. 
So I'm gonna play the whole part through. Uh, where am I? They do this one, okay? This is the second time. Again. Now it's third time. That's not to be. Now third time. We do that one. All right. And then they got this nice little movement. That's pretty. So that part is going up by you. Um. So you got uh. So after you do this, is, I'm gonna do it from the third time. So uh. Is gonna be so after you play the after you play this chord you got the C flat major nine so you got B flat D flat E flat and G flat over C flat or B um, all right first chord and this walk down now that's a rhythm to this walk down so I'm gonna show you after I show you the chords then you're gonna have the B uh, the B flat minor nine which you already know. Then we're gonna have this chord. It's gonna be an F major add two with an A in the bass. So you got a G, C, F over A. It's also called a quarter chord because it's, 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 it's two fourths put together. So G to C is a fourth, C to F is a fourth. All right, for my theory people. So uh, where we at? And then we're gonna go to uh to the A flat minor nine, G flat, B flat, C flat, and E flat. Okay, can't see the C flat. Okay. okay. And then the last chord is gonna be this G seven flat five. Okay. It's F C flat and D flat with a G in the bass. So the bass is pretty much going boom, 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 Could take the nines out too, that might make it sound a little cleaner. Because, um, let me see, let me see what I mean. So, instead of don't one, you could take the nine out, that might make it sound a little better. Most I take the nine out of the A flat too, so don't, don't put the B flat in there. So, you could this might sound a little cleaner if you do it that way. I just like add nines, but so for the B minor seven, A, D flat, and F, and for the A flat, G flat, C flat, and E flat, okay. Take the take the nines off of these two chords, okay? So Alright. So let me play the whole part. to the save the day so back to the same groove so hope you enjoyed this lesson guys little gospel flavor for you um casual keyboard guy like share subscribe show your boy some love i'm out of here peace i'm tired tired y'all working me it's like no i love y'all peace
like, share, subscribe. Scott, show your boys some love. I think I said that already. Bye.